What's going on everybody and welcome to my channel. I go by Gem Mint and Mandalorian Season 2 has me with Star Wars Fever. We just got the debut of Ahsoka Tano. We finally got to learn the child's real name and some of his backstory. And plus we just have overall badassery from the Mandalorian. So today we're going to count down the top 10 Star Wars statues of all time. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe. We have a huge giveaway that we're about to do this Sunday. So stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll tell you what the prizes are and what you have to do to enter. Let's jump into this list with number 10. And you know we got to go with the child. I'm talking about the life-size figure from Sideshow Collectibles. How could you not have this adorable, cuddly piece in your collection? We were able to review this one a few weeks ago, and it's just a must-own, especially if Mandalorian has got you back into the Star Wars groove. This guy retails for $375. It's still available on Sideshow's site right now, and although it's technically not a statue, it's a figure, I thought there was no way that we could leave it off of this list. Fans of the channel can attest that I love big statues. The bigger the statue is, the more impressive to me. So number nine on the list, I had to put the Rancor statue by Sideshow Collectibles. This guy is enormous. It's another one that we got to see a little early at Sideshow Con San Diego, and this guy is a beast. Measuring at 29 inches tall with a hefty price tag of 1300 It must have been priced per pound on this guy because he was a huge statue. A classic character from Jabba the Hutt's Pit brought to life by Sideshow Collectibles number 9. Alright guys, we're going to shrink the scale down just a little bit for number 8. And we're going to do the Darth Maul Mythos statue by Sideshow Collectibles. I am a huge Darth Maul fan. Most of you guys are when you saw episode one come out and he came out with the dual lightsabers. Well, this is after that. This is his uh, Clone Wars interpretation with his cybernetic bottom half with an incredible dynamic pose exploding out of the rock. He still has his signature dual lightsaber with a crazy expression on his face. Big fan of the character and this mythos line really delivers the type of statues that I'm into and we're going to see some more on this list. This guy is still up for pre-order and has a retail price of $610. All right, guys, number seven on the list is another one from the Mythos line. And no, this will not be a list totally comprised of Sideshow pieces, but they have a lot of good ones out there. And you know I'm talking about none other than Asajj Ventress. This is sculpted by some of my favorite designers and sculptors out there right now, the Chucherick Brothers. And it boasts a price tag of $595, still up for pre-order now. Another one that we were fortunate enough to be able to see during Sideshow Con. The Mythos line seems to be paying attention and borrowing a lot from the Star Wars Clone Wars animated cartoon series. This one just has an amazing design, so many awesome details that make her a fan favorite character from the show. Can't wait to get this one in person. All right, guys, you know that he had to make the list sooner or later. Coming in at number six is Darth Vader himself from Iron Studios. This quarter scale statue is often considered to be the best Darth Vader statue out there. This boasted a price tag of $650 when it was still in stock, but this one is currently sold out and can only be purchased on the aftermarket. He comes with light up features not only on his lightsaber, but on his belt as well. A commanding pose with a mixed media cape on a destroyed snowy base. He can not only dual wield his lightsaber, but he has a switch out where he's using the force. An incredible statue. Number five on the list is another one that is sold out and can only be purchased on the aftermarket. I'm talking about Kylo Ren's premium format by Sideshow Collectibles. Now Kylo Ren, I know there's a love-hate relationship, amazing character design, I love his rage, especially in The Force Awakens. It was more of his personal character that I didn't like as much, but I like the idea of Kylo Ren. I love his helmet, he has an amazing lightsaber, and was well worth the $570 price tag when he first came out. The mixed media cape that's tailored with this statue looks great as well, it really adds some realism to this piece. Alright, we've been showing Sideshow a lot of love, Iron Studios made the list, coming in at number 4 is Boba Fett by XM Studios. This is an amazing piece. I think XM Studios does a great job showing motion with the jetpack on his back. You can see the trail of smoke going down into the base. That looks great. I love the switch out left arm showcasing the fire. I feel like XM does the best paint job on fire out of any statue company. Boba Fett had to make the list a fan favorite character who deserved the modern treatment that XM gave him. This bad boy retailed for 990 Singapore dollars, which is probably around 850 American. He is currently sold out though, so you will have to pick this guy up on the aftermarket. 
All right, guys, number three on the list. I can hear the theme song playing in my head right now. It's the Mandalorian premium format with the child. This piece is so cool. We saw it live at Sideshow Con New York. I love the effect of the child in his little stroller <laughs> that's attached to the side of the Mandalorian's cape. The Mandalorian is such a great character. I mean, Boba Fett, when he burst out on the scene, he was a fan favorite just because of his design and his overall mercenary backstory. But the Mandalorian has all that plus a flesh out character. You care about the human aspect of the Mandalorian, his relationship with the child, and he is a total badass. This premium format looks amazing. It's up for pre-order at $630. This one's coming to the collection for sure. All right, number two and number one were kind of difficult for me. They're both kind of interchangeable. Uh, they're both from the Star Wars Mythos line from Sideshow Collectibles, but I had to go with my gut as far as what was number one. So number two on the list is gonna be Darth Sidious, Emperor Palpatine, amazing statue, so dynamic. I love how they have the floating aspect where you can see his feet in the air. They have an orange tinge on the feet coming from the lava in the base. His insane expression with so much detail on his face with his electrical powers coming out of his right hand. This piece looked amazing when we saw it in person, has a price tag of $585 and it's gonna start me down a long rabbit hole of Star Wars mythos. All right guys, before we jump into the number one Star Wars statue on my list, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are doing a giveaway with three prizes this Sunday. The first place prize gets the first appearance of Omega Red and X-Men 4 graded at a CGC 9.8. The second prize winner is going to win this huge oversized Marvel's hardcover by Alex Ross. And the third place winner is going to win this set of the boys softcover omnibus. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, comment on this video, and we're going to pick a random video where I promoted this giveaway to draw winners this Sunday. So hit that subscribe while we check in on number one. I mentioned that it was going to be another one from the Star Wars Mythos line. I'm sure you guys may have guessed if you're huge Star Wars fans, it's got to be Darth Vader. This is the best Star Wars statue, in my opinion, ever been released. The paint job on this guy is incredible. This is where they kind of started that orange tinge coming from the base, but showcasing that paint job on the cape and on other parts of Darth Vader's body. They ended up doing this with Darth Sidious, but this is where I first saw it. I love the switch out portraits here where you have his exposed face and he's holding his helmet. It's got the orange tinge on it. It looks amazing. This is a piece that retailed for $350. It's long sold out. And if you look on eBay right now, I don't think you're going to be able to get this for less than $1,500. It hit grail status and I think it's well deserved. I am on the lookout for one of these pieces. So don't be surprised if you see a review on it sometime soon. All right, guys, that's my top 10 best Star Wars statues ever. Are there any pieces that I missed that should have made this list? Drop me a comment down below and don't go anywhere. Check out the playlist to the right where I have all of my other top 10 lists and our other statue unboxing and reviews. I appreciate you watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.